Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see the lead code question number 207 course schedule. There are a total of n number of courses you have to take labeled from 0 to n minus 1. You are given an array of prerequisites a comma b indicates that you must take course b first if you want to take course a. For example, the pair 0, 1 indicates that to take the course 0, you have to first take the course 1. Return true if you can finish all the course, otherwise return false. We are given two examples. In the first example, the number of courses is 2 and the prerequisites are 1, 0. So, there are two courses. In order to finish the course 1, you should finish the course 0. So, this is possible. Let's see the second example. The number of courses are 2. The prerequisites are 1, 0 and 0, 1. That means that to take the course 1, you have to finish 0 and to take 0, you have to finish 1. So, this is not possible. So, we are returning false. I hope the question is clear. Now, let's get into the approach. Let's take an example of this scenario which has four courses and a list of prerequisites. I am representing this in a diagram. For taking the course 0, 1 and 2 are the prerequisites and for the course 1, course 3 is a prerequisite. As a first step, I will create a dictionary with a list of all the child nodes and its corresponding parents in the value. For the child node 1, 0 is the parent. Similarly, for the child node 2, 0 is the parent. For the child node 3, 1 is the parent. As a next step, I will create a list of number of branches. For the course 0, there are two branches. For the course 1, there is one branch. And for the course 2 and 3, there is no branch. The next step is to create a queue with a list of courses that doesn't have a dependency. In our example, course 2 and course 3 doesn't have a dependency. So, we are adding 2 and 3 in the queue. The next step is to pop each node from the left side of the queue and identify its corresponding parent and remove from the branch. Now, we have removed the course 2 which doesn't have a dependency and check the parent of index 2 which is node 0 and see if the parent has any dependency. In our case, course 0 has a prerequisite of course 1. Now, we are popping the next element from the queue which is node 3 and identify its corresponding parent and remove the branch. Now, we are checking the parent of 3 which is 1 and see if 1 has any dependency. In this case, node 1 doesn't have any prerequisites, so we are adding 1 to our queue. Now, we are popping the node 1 from the queue and identify its corresponding parent and we are removing the branch. Now, we have removed the node 1 and check what is the corresponding parent of node 1. In this case, the parent of node 1 is 0. So, we are adding 0 to our queue and we are popping the node 0 from our queue. Now, our queue is empty and we are checking if all the elements in the branch is 0. In our case, all the elements in the branch is 0. So, we are returning true. After iterating through all the elements, if the branch has still non-zero elements, that means that that course cannot be completed and we will immediately return false. I hope the approach is clear. Now let's get into the solution. First, we are declaring the variable child as a default dictionary which has the list of all the parents. Child equals to default dictionary of list. Now, we are declaring the variable branch. Branch equals to list of zeros multiplied by the number of courses. 
Now we are populating the value for the child and the branch variables by iterating through the prerequisite list. For i, j in prerequisites, for each child we are appending the parent child of j dot append of i and increment the corresponding branch branch of i plus equals to 1. Now we are declaring the queue as a double ended queue so that we can pop the element from the left side q equals to a double ended q dq now we are appending the courses that doesn't have a dependency in the q for i in range of the number of courses If the branch of i equals to 0, that means that that course doesn't have a dependency and we are appending that to the queue. If branch of i equals to 0, q dot append of i. Now we will iterate through the queue until the queue is empty. While queue, I am popping each node from the left side of the queue. Node equals to queue dot pop left. And I am finding all its corresponding parent nodes and removing from the branch. For i in child of the node branch of i minus equals to 1. If its parent node doesn't have a dependency, we are adding the parent node to the queue. If branch of i equals to 0, then we are adding that to the queue. After iterating through all the elements of the queue, we are coming out of this while loop and see if the branch has any non-zero elements for i in branch if i not equals to zero that means that the course cannot be completed so we will immediately return false if not we will return true return true. Let's submit it. The solution got accepted. The time complexity of this approach is O of n because we traverse through each node at most twice. We traverse to node 2 and node 3 once and we traverse through node 0 and node 1 twice. The space complexity of this approach is also O of n because we are creating a dictionary and two lists and the number of elements in the list and the dictionary varies depends on the number of prerequisites. I hope you like this video. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.